Okay, Leo, uh, or slash Aquarius for or life path number eight, but basically we're looking at eight, but we'll stick with the rule of thumb of Leo. How are you doing, Leo? If you have not seen your channel messages, please make sure you also check them out. Just something very quickly that continues on from that about this working thing. Okay, whether it works Stephen King or whether it works or whether it doesn't work. Okay, now I don't want to dishearten people when it comes to those messages because I always pick this up through Leo or an Aquarian energies all of the time about YouTube and about like work. Okay, the thing is with that, okay, the thing is with that is I don't never want to dishearten people. I'm actually trying to like physically really help you as well. Like me as a channel for a long time has really struggled also myself, okay, a lot myself. Is, is that my advice there would be, because I know there's a few people of you out there that are probably looking for this message. Okay, my advice to you as someone that's been doing YouTube for a long time is, is to really concentrate on knowing what you're doing first. Okay, is to know what you're doing first, is to educate yourself and get used to doing it. Okay, even if that's a spiritual calling or anything like that, is to, is to learn what you're doing first instead of thinking, you know what, I need to get all of these subscribers first before I do it. I need to get all the clients first because what you'll do, you'll end up hating your job and you'll not really think about the main factor of what that is. You know, YouTube is nowhere near an overnight success. It really isn't. OK, so I'm sorry for anybody that's really not interested in this, Leo. I don't want to lose my own subscribers, but like uh, this message really is here for a few of you. OK, uh, so just excuse me for a second, you know. But I, my advice would be anything that you're working on, right, if you're not very good at it, it doesn't mean that you won't be very good at it in the future. It means don't give up, but don't look for overnight success straight away because you'll end up hating what you're doing and you won't really think what you're doing, right? So in order to get better of that, my, my advice would be is to concentrate on learning first, is doing it first. It's a lot like my sync uh, site, uh, 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 thing that's coming up, my music thing, that sequencer that's coming up very soon, okay? When I get it, I'm going to have to learn how to use that, right? I'm really going to have to learn how to use that first before I go and do any live music or, or anything else. I'm going to need to get to used to using it, right? And if this is around your job and it's not YouTube or anything, it's the same message here for you. Whatever it is that turns up, take the time in order to use it right to learn first before thinking you know what i want all of this first before i've learned even how to do this right is to basically just i'm gonna to have to take my own advice here because sometimes i can end up like buying a load of things and not using them that's what i'm saying like this for instance right there's a huge synthesizer here right and it does loads of different sounds loads of different sounds and it is so complicated this one thing that you can't see a Korg wave state. It is so complicated, man. There are so many different sequences in there, and it takes a long time in order to be able to program it and realize what I'm doing, okay? I can give up. I've had this for a long time, and I've actually just sat down with it to study it and go over it and learn how to work it, okay? Now I'm kind of like getting to think, you know what? I actually know what I'm doing now. I actually know how it works, and I'm getting better at it, okay? So my advice would be that anything that is coming up for you around work or YouTube or anything like that is to really focus on what it is that of of the thing, right? Don't think about the outcome. Don't think about the outcome. Think about what it is that you're focused on that getting used to it. If it's a new job, okay, don't give up before you've actually started it. Get to like it, okay? Get to like yourself. Get to know yourself. Get to know the cards. Get to know whatever it is that you're doing. Don't just think straight away, okay, I've got some cards, I want to read, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to start a channel and I'm going to have overnight success because that's what I want. Because then you're, you're missing the whole point of tarot. You're missing the whole point of the actual energy itself. It's just like when people come into this channel. They're probably clicked off and they don't want to hear all of this. They just want to see what the outcome is and they skip straight through and miss all the beginning parts. Okay, So it's about taking your time is to take your time and relax and thinking, you know what, I'm going to get better at my job first and I'm going to get better at knowing what I'm doing before I make a rash decision. Now, if yours is also love and your message is coming through now, okay, it's not to jump to a rash conclusion and a rash decision to just think, you know what, I just need this right now and I need this person right now in my life and let's make a rash decision and let's not really take the time in order to have a break. Let's not take let's take the time to learn on our own. Right? 
Same message as YouTube, love partner, anything. Same message coming through. Okay. For you guys that have not skipped through the reading already. <laughs> okay. Is, is that let's take our time. There is no rush in order to go back into it. Because sometimes when people are in that much of a rush that they want something, that's where you're about to make a very rash decision. Okay. So it's not about what you want it's about what works and if what works for you is the break and the energy away that's going to give you time to actually realize you know what does this does this person really suit me or not you know because if we've gone over it all of the time and gone over it and gone over it and gone over it and gone over it and this is your love relationship then the best energy that you can ever do is take time and not rush into things because that's normally where you'll make a rash decision and just realize, shit, we just jumped straight back into the same boat, done exactly the same pattern, nothing really worked, and then I'm back to square one again, and still not doing this, and still doing the same thing, and we've gone straight back into the same pattern, and really still not doing anything different than what we've always done. You see, you have to think outside of the box, definitely when it comes to relationships, is to give yourself time in order to learn yourself, your own behavior. You can't do that when you're with people, and you can't do that when you're rushed either, okay? And definitely if you don't know how to use things, you're going to feel like, you know what, I, I don't know how to use this and it's too complicated, so I'm just going to pass it on, not, not look at it, not do it. I'm just going to rush straight in, not know about tarot first, okay, if it's like channel stuff, not know really what cards mean and all that kind of stuff, and blah, blah, blah. I just want overnight success straight away, not really knowing how to use cards. Okay, so like I said, I could send you a load of subscribers and you don't know really how to read cards. I'm not putting anybody down. I'm just saying that I don't really know how to use cards and I, I, like I'm not very efficient at doing everything straight off for what everybody wants because no one's pleased on this business, I can assure you of that. Okay, so you have to have very tough skin and you have to know what you're also doing. Okay, and when you do, that's where people are like, ah, you know what, I'll subscribe, blah, 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 great advice, great reader, great stuff like that, and then you're gonna get other people that say, crap, I haven't got time, all that sort of stuff, right? So it's always best to know what it is of the thing that you're trying to learn or do. Know that first, right, before you look for the outcome. Always know what you're doing first so you can be good at your job, okay? Best advice I could give you there for everybody that was looking for those messages. That's probably where everybody's clicked off and hasn't got time. Okay, I've done many things in my life, many things. Bricklaying, caring, looking after children, driving, tarot card reader, talking to the dead, like carrot washing, cutting cabbages. I have been so many different things. A counsellor, a drug counsellor, a drug worker, working in rehabilitation centres. Uh, I have done loads. Right? I could write a book. <laughs> you know, so it's about that getting good at it before you give it up okay so don't get, get don't give up but just don't look for overnight success thinking that everything's gonna happen overnight and that you're just gonna learn how to use things or do a new job just like that or work with a person and you're working with a person and you think yeah you know what you're a new person we're gonna work brilliantly and you don't <laughs> you know because you rush straight into a rash decision take your time take your time as your whole message there is to take your time, okay? So, let's see, and I have to take that as well, like I said, because I'm an Aquarius in Venus, so it's eight as well, okay, Leo? So take your time. When these things turn up that I've ordered, is to take my time to learn it first, okay, before I give up, okay? So, let's see. Even a new person, before you get skittish and you run off, you know, Get to know the person first, if this is a new person, because some of you, it could be a new person, is what they're saying. Get time to know them first before you just rush straight in and jump straight in the deep end and think, okay, marriage, <laughs> marriage is one, children is what I want, and everything else, and you've just met the person, and you scare them off before you even, like, you know what, this is my list of demands. I want marriage, I want a white picket fence, I want a house, I want children, I want everything else. Are you up for that and you've only just met them? Fuck no, bruv. You'll scare them straight off. You know, so like I said, you know, there are lists of demands of things of looking at it and thinking, you know what, let's just take it easy. Let's take it one day at a time. And let's just kind of like, you know, that kind of thing. Let's see each other. Let's see each other once, once a week instead of like five times a week. Let's just take it easy, man. Right. Everybody's in such a rush to die. Of course you're not. Right. But so why are you in, in such a rushing life? You know, 
<laughs> but uh, there you go. So there's some uh, just advice there for you. Okay. So this is a different reading, Leo. Um, so Leo, from the 7th until the 14th, show me through these cards what they've got coming up, please. Um, so you got good luck. There you go. Good luck. So good luck favours the fortunate. Okay. So basically... Good luck is on the way. You're going to have some sort of like lucky win, is what I'm hearing. Now, through the Cancerian reading, they had a lot to do with around lottery numbers or something like that, or the name Lottie. Okay, but like, uh, good luck favors the fortune. I'm also picking up a Leo. Oh man, that's a big pussy. Look at the size of that pussy. <laughs> that's a big one, <laughs> right? So, like, uh, someone's got beady eyes. Okay. Uh, but all the better to eat you with, my dear. Someone is watching you, is what I'm hearing. Like, mm, I've got my eye on you, pussycat. So I'm hearing, what's up, pussycat? Oh, oh, Tom. And then Tom. But um, what's up, pussycat? Whoa. Um, but good luck. So that's what I'm saying. Someone might be saying, look, look, just exactly what I've said to everybody. Exactly the same. Good luck. I hope that you get what you want, okay? Good luck on your new job. Good luck on your new person. Good luck on your business and everything that seems to be going well, if it is. Good luck, you know. So luck only comes to those people that are kind of like, you know what, I feel very lucky today. I'm going to go and stick like five quid on the lottery or something like that. It's a gamble luck. It doesn't mean that it's there for everybody. It just means I'm either extremely lucky and blessed or, and then some people are like, man, my luck is always out. You know, I never seem to be able to, reach my deadline I always seem to be the unlucky one because whenever there's a lucky one there's always an unlucky one okay so you could be dealing with a life path one maybe but I am definitely hearing that lucky unlucky maybe something to do around Lucy or like uh, a number two which would be Libra because I'm hearing like well I'm lucky okay and you're lucky to have me and you're lucky to be with me man I am definitely picking up an ultimatum seems to be coming in for you guys somewhere but like uh, I'm hearing lucky for you but there's always another side of the scale there around like, you always seem to get what you want, you always seem to have luck seems to be on your side, why could it never really happen to me? Why do the good things happen to you but the bad always happens to me? Why do you always end up further in life than what I do? Okay, because I really am picking up on that scale of like, well you've got good luck and you blah blah blah, but why does that not work for me? That's what I'm saying, law of attraction and things like that don't work. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, because, you know, as a statistic in life, you can take multiple people, okay, and give them all a placebo or something like that, and some actually think that they're actually like, Ugh! <laughs> you know, and then some like, man, that didn't even take an effect, it didn't even do anything, like, it didn't even touch the side, okay, so, you know, the statistic is, it's like, well, you all just took a placebo, but some of you were feeling that, but you didn't, you know, some things in life, they work for some people, but they just don't work for others. It just depends what's in your chart as well, really. But I'm hearing good luck, okay? <clears throat> so some of you are very lucky. It's to really think of the things that are very good in your life, that you're a lucky person to be where you are, okay? The majority of the time when people are like very stressed and pissed off and fed up, that's normally when people look on the side of like, you know what, whenever I actually sat back and looked at and thought, you know what, I actually have a television, I actually have a PC, I actually have something in my life that's very good, I actually can breathe, I'm actually alive, I can actually walk, I can actually talk. There are some people in life that are so unfortunate and unlucky that they don't even have anywhere to live. Okay, so, you know, always look for those things in life that you think, you know what, I'm a lucky person because... I'm alive, you know, and I have what I do have, right? And then always stick with knowing that what you have, that you count your blessings, that you are a very lucky person to be where you are. Well, basically to be on earth, for God's sake, really, is that I'm a lucky person to be alive and on earth, okay? <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything <clears throat> where there was like something very dangerous happened to someone and said, man, you're a lucky person to be alive at the moment, <laughs> okay? So I don't know what that is for you. Uh, so show me, uh, Leo, what they've got coming up from the 7th into the 14th. Uh, wow, same card coming up through Cancerian reading. Same place, same place, just a moment ago. The Tree of Life could be a Gemini or a slash Capricorn person maybe, or like a Tower, okay, which could be a 7. But like financial health, you see. 
somebody is very lucky to be where they are and have what they have, okay? So it feels like that someone is like financially completely stable in order to be able to do things. Now I've said this about a lot of others, okay? Sometimes when it comes to like, you know, uh, s s for some reason, right, there is, there is a tarot reader, right? Some people are like blessed to have like a really good husband, right? a really good husband, right? And they can like, they can like all the house and everything is paid for, or a good mother, okay, for instance, right? But like they have a good house, they have a good backing that leaves them open to be able to do this, for instance, right? So my life, this house got paid off years ago by my de father's death and by me helping build it and having a company of bricklaying, okay? I was very fortunate as a child and very fortunate to work with my father from at the age of when I left school to have very good money and, and educate myself in bricklaying. Okay, so we made quite a lot of money on our business and my father died and it just left me with my mother. We have a karmic situation going on, sure, right? But I also am very blessed to be able to be here and live here, okay, in a house that has been paid and everything else, okay? Because that leaves me open to be able to focus on this, okay? To be able to focus on this. But some people in life, okay, might be less unfortunate where they cannot concentrate on the thing that they really want to have so like if you've got children and stuff like that that can obviously make things very difficult because the time that it takes to build things up and the luck that fames the fortunate are the ones that are lucky and blessed to be able to really have more because their time like things like this it makes it so much easier because they don't have the stress of other things in life other things in life that some others don't okay so you've kind of got this financial health that someone could be really like climbing the ladder of success in certain ways but for anybody out there is climbing it's climbing okay so it's getting better i'm getting more efficient and i'm getting better at my job and i'm getting better at everything else and it seems to be bringing in a good crust okay so something that is financially good for you here, okay? But like I said, that can't be everybody in life. It really can't be everybody. You really have to look at your circumstances and you think, you know what, am I the lucky one or not? Am I, because if anybody thinks in here, anybody thinks in here, you know what, I'm the unlucky one because I don't have all what you have. If anybody's thinking that way, then what you really need to focus on really is, is the fact that you're alive and breathing and alive and kicking, right? That's got to be the main factor there is the fact that the luck is really just the fact that you're alive, really, you know. But some of you could be very financially happy here that leaves you free in order to be able to do your job easier, okay. Financially supportive. Financially able. Because a lot of people, when they watch tarot, I can say this, and this is truth and this is how people do it. I can say to you, you know what, brilliant, I'm going to do your work reading and you are going to be financially absolutely set for life. And you're not. And then you're like, well, when's that going to happen? But there is an idea that I have that I haven't put all of the work into constantly. Okay, you have to be, for, 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 for anything money related, okay, and to be financially stable, you have to be one of those people that has put in so much work, so much work that it finally pays off. Like, uh, well, what am I doing, Leo? <clears throat> like uh, Alice Tarot, for instance, right? Loads of subscribers and everything else. And doing really well. Like, really well. Good for her, right? That's what I'm saying. She's also like a Aquarian. So, like, you know, I'm doing Leo, but Leo, eight. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. Work pays off. The more you do and the better that you get at it, people are going to vibe in different ways, okay? So these messages are not going to be for everybody. It's going to be the people that are like put all of the work in towards their idea and it is starting to pay off. But whatever that is, you still have to look at those small things as an accomplishment forward, okay, forward. Because never really look at it as like, oh man, I've done all of this and I didn't get shit. Okay, because that's going to really do your edit, right? So always look for things, you know what, well at least I've got my workload done. Bam, there you go. Put it in the hands of fate. Okay, so uh, Aquarius, uh, sorry, Leo, what have they got, Leo? You could be dealing with an Aquarian, but it's also an eight. Okay, uh, Leo, what have they got coming up from the 7th to the 14th? Talent, see, extremely talented at my job or at my art and my craft and my job. Whatever it is that you do as a job, you're very good at it. You're very efficient and very good at it, okay? But like I said, for any of you out there that are doubting, right, 
and you're looking at the energy of what I was channeling for you in your, in your actual channel messages, whatever it is that you doubt, don't doubt yourself. That's the worst thing you can ever do, you know, is to never doubt yourself and to never hate yourself for what you have. No matter what anybody says, like the narky comments that were in the Gemini reading for me, can someone really come along saying that you're absolutely full of bullshit and crap and everything else and that you do nothing but repetitively talk and I'm basically just one of those people that was in that reading that knocks everybody off. No time for nothing and God knows what else and people that float around without actually experiencing what it's like to be one of these people. Okay, So you get people all the time that bitch and moan. All of the time. right? So don't let that stop you from being who you are. Just continue to do your job. Okay, um, or Rob, I mean Rob or Robin, but talented at what I do because I love it, okay. and it's bringing in financial health. Uh, Leo. Home, you see, lucky to have a great home, lucky to have be living in a place like this. Who lives in a place like this? So through the keyhole, so I don't know if anybody's showing someone around their house or their home. Sorry, I forgot to put my fan down here, man, and it's so humid in uh, Britain at the moment. Uh, but like, who lives in a place like this? I'm very talented and that is financially built this house, <laughs> right? But yeah, I did build this house. But like, um, you know, a house and a home, I have somewhere to live and it seems to be great. You could have just moved. Or it could be a through the keyhole moment where you're showing someone around your house. I like it's like, man, do you live in a place like that? It's like, yeah, you're like I do live in a place like this. It's mine, okay. Or like, um, I don't know, financially set and where you've paid your mortgage off, right? Where you do not. This could be a retired couple of someone that uh, lives in a place where there is no mortgage, like it's been paid off, okay. That was the one thing that I was so grateful for my father for before he passed, is, is that we worked for many, many, many years, like lifting concrete blocks and smuck and cement and climbing ladders with hods on my shoulder and climbing up and down and bending over and killing my back and God knows what else. I spent years doing that from at the age of 15. Okay, so I worked for my here, like for fucking really hard, right, really hard for many, 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 many years. So I was always grateful for my father when he did die, that he basically left this place and paid the mortgage off and paid everything through the four life insurances that he also was paying off since the age of 14 at his age. And I worked extremely hard in his own business and left his family very secure. That seems to be the spot that I'm in also, okay. So um, I'm all still, I mean, I have my own karmic situation going on with the person that's left over. I'm not saying that anything in life is perfect, but the things in life that you do have are always the things to focus on. You know what? I am so lucky and blessed to be where I am. Okay. That seems to be your message for you. Um, I'm going to take that because that's falling out. So some of you, like I said, you've, you're on break. You're, you're gone on vacation. You're really kind of like had enough of the partnership or the, I mean, if, unless you're together, but I'm definitely picking up good luck on your journey, good luck on your situation, good luck on life, good luck uh, on in life. Some of you could have said goodbye to a daughter or a grandson or something like that and said, you know what, fairly well, goodbye, you know, blah, blah, blah. But for some reason, man, I keep picking up on this ultimatum coming in as like, oh, good luck then, yeah, bye. <laughs> so, I don't know, unless someone's bisexual, bisexual, um, the fool, the fool, Where's the fool here? The fool. Queen of Cups, because I'm in love. So you should be with your partner. If not, someone's loving on loving themselves here. Or you're just in love with your partner and you've got maybe a paradox energy of number. But uh, good luck on your way. Good luck on your journey. I'm just seeing you off. Or I want to see you. Or you've, or you, I mean, you could have met a new person here, for instance. And so thank you very much. Good luck. And it's like, hubba hubba, take a look at you. <laughs> take a look at you, Jew. Um, financial health. What's financial health here for? Because that can be good, like loving what you do. If I try and change this reading around for work and stuff, that's pretty much also like financially able to be able to like bring the energy in of, of attraction, which is like 
normally when you don't want things is normally when that comes <laughs> when you're not looking and when you don't want anything and you're like you know what I'm just cushy being myself and just being wherever I'm I'm not looking where I'm going or what I'm doing I'm basically just concentrating on me and I'm getting on with the day and then all of a sudden bam a new door opens and a new beginning okay you never know life is like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get Finance, uh financial health because sometimes you have to wait for astrology to move and those times can be extremely difficult you know the planets have to move first for things to start to work because being a medium definitely during astrology you know that's month after month just as some planets move the next lot start to come and you're like oh fucking hell bro <laughs> it's right financial health here, so, wow, I mean, that is work, 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 financially stable, set for life, basically, because this is kind of like a work type sort of reading at the moment, but financially, financially stable, okay, and uh, things are really growing because someone's putting the work in, okay, the time and the effort and the work here, okay, it could be a Capricorn or a slash Gemini, which is a six, uh, the devil, the devil, there's the devil here. Queen of Swords, ooh. Ooh, 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 two women that do not get on, two people that don't get on. Some people keep saying, why do I have a beef with this other channel? I don't, I don't. Well, I, I'll put it that way, I don't. I never did until I heard certain things. So some people keep saying in my comment section, what is this beef going on with you and another channel? I have no idea. I have not looked at that other channel in so long. It was only because people were leaving things in my channel and saying things to me that had actually been going on behind my back. That's the beef that I have. It's all of the stuff that was actually apparently told to me by everybody else that I apparently, well, fucked if I know. That's what I'm saying. I never did know what beef have I got with this other channel. I don't have one. I don't have one. That's what I'm saying. I don't. But a lot of you probably don't know. You, or you know a lot more than what I fucking do. That's what I'm saying. You probably know a lot more than what I do. But do I know? No. No, I don't. I don't know why people keep saying, what's this beef that you've got with someone else? I don't know, is that person saying shit? <laughs> but like, uh, I don't know, I never did know. Okay, um, but yeah, uh, so here, something to do with around a Capricorn or a Gemini, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, but, uh, sorry. It's distracted me, that's what I'm saying, man. I don't know about all that beef. I don't really have beef with people, man. I run my own channel and say, so I think, to, do you know what it is? I think the vibe of what I actually got was probably because I mentioned something on my own channel around um, around life coaching. And I think that probably rubbed someone up the wrong way because I'd mentioned life coaching. And I think other people had run off to other channels saying, Steve said that you can't be a life coach. I don't give a fuck what y'all do. I really don't. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. Some people go off and they spread things across to other channels and say shit and do things and they don't know. That's what I'm saying. And I think it was probably because I said life coaching. I don't know. I can say what I want on my own channel. Apparently at one point, all of those kind of factors were actually quite what someone really liked. And then suddenly realised, oh no, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Because <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So for all of you guys out there that keep asking me, what is this beef that's going on with another channel? I never did know. I never did know that there was any. Okay. So there you go. There's your answer. <laughs> but uh, the Queen of Swords. So... There could be two women here. There could be a very toxic situation going on with a mother here. This could be a mother. Okay. Um, but financially help, but not helping. It's kind of like, it's a nice place to live, but not with the people I live with. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And that is your karma all, all day long with these messages, Leo. Is, is the fact that it might be a nice place to live and everything that I have is really nice here. But the people that fucking live in here are very, uh, are very difficult to live with. And that's life. That's the unfortunate energy of karma. Is, is that things in life, like I, I've just said to everybody, you know what, be grateful for what you have and everything else. But normally when you live with people is the normally where you, because people bring karma. People bring karma. People bring drama. Okay. So like here, this is, like I said, you might have a really nice place and everything else. But the people that live here... Oh, probably not. <laughs> no, probably not, right? You just can't seem to get on the same page. Might even be family members, and you just can't seem to, like, get through. 
because this is at odds and evens here. These two people have turned their back on one another here, completely and utterly here. Completely and utterly. So what's the talent for? Talent, nine of pentacles. Free, single, available, all day long. I'm just happy as I am as a pig in shit and I just can't be doing with this anymore because we're at odds. We're at odds and we're even. We've turned our back so we might as well continue on just to basically feel better apart than actual together because it brings in prosperity of health. This is a healthy card. So it means that when you're not dealing with karma, that's when you feel healthy, that you're not dealing with anybody because <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. You can be very self-sufficient and think, you know what, I'm quite capable of doing this on my own. I feel better doing me. Right? I feel better doing me. Pampering me, doing me, doing whatever. I don't have to deal with anybody else in life. I can just basically be single, free and available and basically just concentrate on my health. And when I do, that's when everything seems to work. But it doesn't work when these energies are here. Okay, it doesn't, because that means that you're very much engaged with your karma. <laughs> you might be married to this person, but like, you know, or getting engaged to this person, God knows, right? But here, like, you know, the disengaging energy of karma is more of a satisfying energy than what it is for the grief that it causes in order to be like in with your karma. For a lot of the time, sometimes you have to go into your karma head first to realize what it feels like. And by the time you've gone over it like a scratched record, when, when you realise that, it, you realise during times of separation that it's actually easier not dealing with anybody at all in life apart from yourself. Okay, that means that you've disconnected from your karma and you actually feel better because you haven't got all of the negative feelings and emotions and that you're not doing this right and you're not doing that and you work for me and blah, blah, blah and the, everything else because this can be like I'm able to work for myself and everything seems to be going all right and I don't have to bend over and pick up the soap for anybody else, I can pretty much do what I want, so I don't have to engage in the karmic energy, I can just be free to say and do whatever I like, because I don't have to deal with anything karmic. Because when you are, that's when uh, the fight and the flight and the energies come from. So to be on your own is normally better when you do it by yourself. Okay. So that's your reading. I'm going to have to cut that slightly short. I'm not really going to look at home because I think I've given your story there. If you want to join Patreon, it'll only be on the full access bundle. That's where I'm going to do a you versus them. Okay, that'll be your life and their life, but your thoughts and their feelings. Okay, so we'll look at them first. What is their thoughts? What are their feelings? What are they going through? What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? What are you going through? What do you think about this energy? And what do they think about the energy? And what compares to you whether it doesn't or not and it's a Chris Cornell okay so it's up to you so uh, if you want to you can join the video explains everything below but uh, there's a page, page to pay, uh, link to Patreon but it'll only be on the full access bundle everybody that keeps asking do I do personal readings yes it is in the link provided below in the show more section okay thanks very much guys and I'll see you soon